But you know who did not win a Grammy last night? Donald Trump. Yeah. Rigged. Totally rigged. <laughs> Millions of illegal Grammy voters said. <laughs> Didn't happen. No. Fake news. That's fake news. Fake award. In Massachusetts. <laughs> This week, Donald Trump took Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe uh, down to Mar-a-Lago. And at dinner, Trump was swarmed with paying members who were hoping for a few seconds with the president. Now, I know that sounds like corruption. Let me set the scene. President Trump and Prime Minister Abe are eating their dinners when they received news that North Korea had test launched a ballistic missile. This is a provocation by a rogue nuclear state. So President Trump immediately retreated to a secure location where he could be briefed on the details. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Trump took the call on his cell phone at the table, and the meal quickly morphed into a strategy session in full view of the fellow diners. <laughs> That's right. Trump's team handled an international crisis like teens at an after-prom party looking at Derek's Instagram. <laughs> Did you know he's with Kalen? Did you know he's with Kalen? I didn't even know Kalen had nukes. That's sad. Other diners even posted Facebook photos of Trump and Abe looking at one imagines or classified documents by the light of someone's cell phone flashlight. <laughs> but I'm sure those documents are secure unless that cell phone flashlight also somehow has a camera attached to it. <laughs> Can't happen. Another guy posted Facebook photos of himself with a guy who carries around the nuclear launch codes identifying the staffer by name this is Rick. Rick is the man. <laughs> or, Rick is the man. Or, more accurately, Rick was the man <laughs> until his identity was compromised next to the carving station. <laughs> the guy has since taken down the Facebook post, and I can't blame him. I mean, he only got 20 likes. <laughs> I think a, a, a post about the nuclear launch codes really should have blown up. <laughs> of course, of course, what? <laughs> of course, uh, people are still upset about Trump's travel ban. So yesterday, Trump uh, sent out a new face, White House senior policy advisor and young Gargamel, Stephen Miller. <laughs> He was on all the Sunday shows. He was on The Nation Face. He was on Meet the Goatee and Sunday with This Week George. And The Nation Face himself, John Dickerson, had an introspective question for Miller. When I talk to Republicans on the Hill, they wonder, what is the White House? What have you all learned from this experience with the executive order? Our opponents, the media, and the whole world will soon see, as we begin to take further actions, that the powers of the president to protect our country are very substantial and will not be questioned. Adding, I am become death, destroyer of worlds, <laughs> kneel before Zod. <laughs> Ne-kneel. Kneel. kneel. <laughs> have, have John Dickerson washed and brought to Zod's tent. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, can we just play that last sentence again, please? The powers of the president to protect our country are very substantial and will not be questioned. Will not be questioned? Let me test that theory. What the f are you talking about? talk about the travel ban. <laughs> this week, the Department of Homeland Security estimated that Trump's border wall is going to cost $21.6 billion bills. But Miller says it's a good investment. This wall will pay for itself 
many, many, many times over. It will pay for itself? I thought Mexico was paying for it. Now Trump's gonna make the wall pay for the wall? That's not fair. That's not fair at all. But Miller took his strongest stand when it came to defending the president's super crazy charges of voter fraud. This week, Trump said the only reason he lost New Hampshire is because voters were bussed in from Massachusetts. And Miller has the evidence, kind of, sort of. Ellen Weintraub, who says, I call upon the president to immediately share New Hampshire voter fraud evidence so that his allegations may be investigated promptly. Uh, do you have that evidence? This morning on this show is not the venue for me to lay out all the evidence. Okay. <laughs> not all the evidence. How about some of the evidence? Maybe any of the evidence? George. Go to New Hampshire, talk to anybody who's worked in politics there for a long time. Everybody's aware of the problem in New Hampshire. Oh, I didn't know he had an eyewitness. Your Honor, I'd like to call to the stand anybody in the state of New Hampshire. <laughs> Get him up here. And while Miller doesn't want to show any evidence on TV, he will show all of his face on any of it. I'm prepared to go on any show, anywhere, anytime, and repeat it and say the President of the United States is correct 100%. Any show, anytime, anywhere? Perfect. How about the late show tomorrow at the Ed Sullivan Theater? Guess what? You've already confirmed that you'll be here tomorrow. Need evidence? Ask anyone in the state of New Hampshire. <laughs> and listen, if you don't show up, I'm gonna call you a liar. <laughs> and if you do show up, I'm gonna call you a liar to your face. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.